Hi, I'm Lucas, and this is The Muscle Up. This is The Muscle Up, and here's some tips and drills on how to improve it. For the muscle ups, one of the most important things is the strength. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the chin up. We have Max here, he's going to do two chin ups from a dead hang, no swing, and no kipping action to substitute for strength. One, two. If that's easy for the gymnast, we're going to switch to a reverse grip and proceed to do the same thing. So targeting different muscles in the arm. One, two. If this is easy for the gymnast, we're now going to incorporate some arm directional changes. So Max is going to do a chin up and then switch grips while in the chin up position. This targets single arm strength a little bit more. So the first part of the muscle up was the chin up. Now we're going to be moving on to the dip. Once we get above the rings, the gymnast has to go all the way down to over a 90 degree bend in the elbows and then push back up again from a strict position. And we'll do that three times. Two and one more. Perfect. If the gymnast is finding the dip a little bit too hard, we can get varying resistance bands to take away some of the weight. Clipping it over the bar. Perfect. We can use the resistance bands like Owen has here to do dips with a little bit more help. And again, we'll repeat three times. One, two, hips are perfectly straight, and three. Awesome. One of the hardest parts about muscle up is transitioning from below to above the rings. So what we can do is we can mimic this with the parallel bars going from upper arm and then dipping up, creating that transition forwards of our weight. I like Max will do. And we're gonna do two times. So down, transitions forwards, up. One, down, back, transition forwards, and up. Perfect. So again, paying attention, when Max goes down to upper arm, go ahead. Then he transitions his shoulders up and over top of his hands. Then proceeding to do the dip. Perfect. Now that we've got the strength for muscle up, we're gonna move on to technique. So what happens is when people grab the rings, typically our wrists are going to line up perfectly straight or vertical with the rings. What we need to do for muscle up is create a false grip or an over grip. This is where our weight from the wrist is on top of the rings. So Owen here is going to grab over top and now he has weight on top and he's ready to start the pulling for muscle up. Once he pulls down, his elbows are going to stay perfectly in. Then he's going to draw half a circle around his armpits to a dip position just mimicking like what we did on P-bars. Then from here, a dip, just like the parallel bar dip. Just as important as going up in the muscle up is also going down or creating a negative muscle up. So now he's gonna dip back down to the armpits, draw half a circle around his armpits, and then again, slowly back down, and then he can lose his overgrip. Perfect. So the gymnast is gonna be starting vertically with his wrist straight down from the rings. Then from here, he's gonna pull over to a false grip, creating his wrist to be on top of the ring. Then he's gonna pull down through the chin up, Elbows stay in, draw half a circle with his thumb around his shoulder blade, and then push down into the dip position. Once the gymnast has gone through the dip position, we're now gonna do a negative and go back down. So dipping back down to the armpit, thumbs draw a circle halfway around forwards, and then slowly through the chin up to the false grip, and then loosen the false grip. With false grip, some of the physical preparation that we can do is grabbing a small weight, nothing more than five pounds, and the gymnast can go from a complete flex position to a curled position working on the forearm strength to be able to pull the wrists in to get the shift that we need for that muscle up full screw. As well as wrist preparation, we also need flexibility preparation. This drill here is a tricep dip, but what we're using it for is actually to create flexibility through the shoulder. So Owen here is gonna drop down, his bum's gonna go as low as possible, and we're creating as big an angle as we can to mimic that position when we come over the rings, and push back up, building also the tricep dip strength that we also require. Now that we've perfected some of the strength over on the parallel bars and the single bar, we're gonna transition this over to the rings. The only thing that makes the rings a little bit more difficult is the fact that they're unstable and easy to move. So we have Max here, he's gonna jump up to the rings, get his false grip on the rings, and he's gonna do two chin-ups. One, aiming all the way down to the chest. Two, good. Now we're gonna lift him up all the way above the rings, and he's gonna do two dips. Same thing going all the way down to the armpits. One, Two. Once the gymnast has done the chin-ups and dips on the rings, we're gonna move on to the technique just like we did with the bungee. So feet are gonna come up on the box, Max is gonna be in a full supports position. Now just like the parallel bars, he's gonna dip down, 
armpits to the shoulder, and then draw half a circle around his shoulder to the chin-up position. Then from here, reverse back up, around the shoulder, and push back up. Perfect. The gymnasts can then try this again by themselves. Now that we've gone through the technique on the lower rings, we're going to bring it up to the higher rings. But instead of going up through the muscle up, we're actually going to focus only on negatives. So the gymnast can jump up to support. Then from a complete stop, he's going to slowly lower down, going through all the positions. Through the dip, half a shoulder circle all the way down to a hang, and then let go. Then climb back up, and we'll do this two times. Gymnast climbs all the way back up. Good. And then same thing again. Slowly down through the dip, half a shoulder circle, down, and let go. Now that the gymnast has done this unassisted, what we want to do is we want to add weight to them. So typically we'd look for 10% of the athlete's body weight negative before they start going positive by themselves. So Max here has 10 pounds on his ankles. He's going to do the same thing. So from support, slowly down through a dip, half a circle to chin up, and then slowly down from there. And same thing two times. Awesome. As hanging on rings is really hard to get into the false grip, what we can do to allow the gymnast to have false grip from the stand is put something under them that brings them up to a nice comfortable head height at the rings. So Owen here can progressively get his false grip, feel comfortable, and then from here go for the chin up right away. With a slight spot from the coach, transition over, all the way up, and out. And then same thing slowly down. Perfect. So now that the gymnast has done this from a stand with a false grip, what we're going to do is we're actually going to have him free hang. So same thing with the box backed up about one meter. Owen's going to grab a little bit of a false grip and then step forwards off the box so he's in a hanging false grip position. Then from here, chin up up and muscle up all the way up and then slowly back down. Same thing. Perfect. All right, now we're going to do it without the box. So a coach assisted lift up to the rings and then a little bit of a lift from there so the gymnast can actually adjust and get that overgrip position. Then Max is going to proceed to do a muscle up up above the rings, go down and transition from under to over on top of the rings, focusing on that weight shift. So getting the false grip position, then Max can go up, push all the way up, down and just half below and then back up three times. Yep. Below, back up. And then one more time, below, and back up. Good. And then all the way down. And this is the muscle up. 